today I'm gonna show you where my real talent lies. It ain't no competition, but just guess my hand size. You can practice, you can pray, you can count your words per minute, but don't slow down, no, don't look up, cause I'm already finished. Hi, if you can't already tell, today we're going to be sitting in a bathtub with a plant and cheating at Type Racer. So you might be wondering why I would do this. Um, and so I'm just going to consult Reddit real quick. Why would anyone cheat at Type Racer? Probably doing it as a small pro- Oh. Thanks Reddit. Anyway, there are quite a few ways of cheating at Type Racer, but today in particular we're going to be using Selenium WebDriver with Python to automate the game. Also, if you're still wondering why I'm in a bathtub, um, you're gonna be wondering for a while because I have no explanation. My mind is just kind of chaotic right now and that's just going to be the video. So, um, please enjoy. So what is Selenium? What is it? What is code? What is life? Um, great questions. Well, to answer the first one, Selenium is a tool that lets you automate browsers like Chrome or Firefox. And it lets you write code to do things that you would normally do by hand, something like typing a comment down below or smashing the like button. One way you can think of Selenium is that it's a um, highly trained giraffe that is competent at browsing the internet and also responds to your commands. And today we're going to be writing those commands in Python, but this giraffe, this really talented giraffe, also understands other languages. And yeah, so with that, let's get started on the simple five-step process to cheating on Type Racer. Step one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Type Racer. Great first step. To do that, we're going to define a WebDriver instance right here. And here I chose to use Chrome as the browser. And then we should get to the Type Racer URL, which I have defined above. And that will bring us to the Type Racer page. And it looks like this. Cool, yeah, now it's time for step two. So to join a race, you're going to click on the link that says enter a typing race. Wow, how user-friendly. So that means that what we should put down in code is, hey, let's wait once we get to this page. Let's wait until the start button becomes clickable, and then let's click it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will bring us to this page. Great, now it's on to step three. So now there's some info that we need before we can compete in the race. Um, any guesses? Oh, did you say we need to get the paragraph that should be typed for this race? Wow, it's like you read my mind or something. So here in the function called get race text, we're going to wait until the race text is available. And then we're going to get the HTML elements that contain the text. We have these elements and then we get the text that they contain. And then we put together this text using some logic here. And feel free to pause and examine whatever is going on, but we're going to move on to step four. Let's be patient because we gotta wait again. In this case, we're going to be waiting until the typing area becomes clickable, um, which it will once the countdown ends. And here we are speeding it up because we gotta go to step five. Okay, this is the final part. We're going to be sending each letter in the paragraph to the typing area. We're also gonna sleep like two milliseconds between each letter because, you know, we can sleep and also still win. That's, that's the flex here, but also because you get disqualified if you type way too fast. Anyway, that brings us to the end. Um, those are the five steps and that's all you need. So please enjoy this lovely footage of me destroying the competition. Now the next part of the vid might be a little disconcerting because we about to veer into CAPTCHA territory. So hold on to your horses because we about to ride through town, through the tricks, through the tips, through what ultimately brought me down. And so the bathtub saga continues. Not gonna lie, I got a little sad after this CAPTCHA thing and um, you know, I cried some tears of defeat 
But then I was like, what should I do? So I looked into Tesseract OCR, which is an open source optical character recognition system. And it's supposed to be pretty good, but I think they purposely created these captures so that they would fail something like Tesseract. So this is what I got. Um, you know, not quite correct. And then I was like, let me look into another path to look at this captcha. And I stumbled down an actual rabbit hole because I realized these texts are based on Alice in Wonderland. No, they are not excerpts. If you read this, it looks okay, but if you read, read it, you realize it makes no sense. Anyway, I read a bunch of these because I do a lot of things that just don't make sense. And I came to the belief that these are based off of a trigram language model. So if you don't know what that is, I'll link something explanatory in the description. And I'll also include a quick summary. Hi. Sorry, it's me again. So a trigram model means that you take the first two words, then you look in the original text for occurrences of the third. You pick at random, then you got a sequence of three strings. You take the last two, then again you go repeat this thing. So, because they use this trigram language model to compose these CAPTCHAs, I believe, any sequence of three words in the CAPTCHA should make sense in English, but like as a whole, it doesn't make any sense. So basically, the moral of the story was, under the trigram language model, there are just so many possible permutations that it doesn't really make sense to try to guess what the CAPTCHA text is. So, a fun solution to explore, but not the most feasible one. Okay, that's all my CAPTCHA related findings. And even though I didn't solve this CAPTCHA problem, I think all my digging around was really great because it convinced me that I shouldn't try to solve this CAPTCHA problem. Um, it would probably take too long. So I'm going to be a math textbook for now and say this is left as an exercise to the reader. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed hanging with me and my little plant friend. Hope you learned a little trick to impress all your friends with your sick WPM. Flex on those haters. <laughs> Peace.